In health news, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention continues to track the rapid rise of a new COVID variant. It was barely on the radar in late November, but the new strain now accounts for a growing number of infections. KITV4's Eric Nacton joins us live. Eric, health experts say this variant is also highly transmissible. It's very true with cases escalating. I spoke with one of the area's most renowned experts in the field about growing concerns with the new variant known as XBB.1.5. Here's an inside look. For many, the quest to remain healthy and COVID free can become more difficult with each passing day. Higher concentrations of the virus that cause COVID-19 are on the rise, and that includes the arrival of the XBB.1.5 subvariant. Right now, the biggest thing we're worried about is how rapidly XBB.1.5 is spreading. Now, we have the Omicron variants, which everyone knows last year were very serious and they were they spread very quickly. Well, XBB 1.5 is about 80 percent more transmissible than the highest Omicron variant. It's a recombinant variation of two XBB 2. So it's still in that family and yet it is taking off. Dr. Scott Miskovich is based on Oahu and remains one of the foremost authorities on COVID. We are seeing that there is some coverage if you've had the bivalent, because remember that new vaccination has the Omicron variant built into it to help cover. When it comes to contracting COVID XBB.1.5, permanent brain issues could be an issue. We have new symptoms, like for example, everybody has heard of brain fog. We all know of fatigue and shortness of breath. Those are the big three. Well, we are now starting to caveat, brain fog is brain damage. It has permanent findings when we're looking at the autopsy findings of these brains where there's permanent changes that are occurring. So this is serious. And many experts also report the rate at which the coronavirus is being detected in wastewater has tripled or quadrupled in many parts of the U.S. in recent weeks. Eric Nacton, KITV4, Island News.